Hi, I'm George Rowland with Advanced Weltic, and I want to show you how to use this uh, test jig uh, for um, face bend, root bend, and side bends. Uh, it conforms to D11, D15, D18, uh, B2.1, and ASME Section 9 for materials that are uh, yield strength 50 KSI or less, uh, bend radius of um, uh, three quarter inch, and uh, you'll bend a specimen that will end up looking some, somewhat like that. This is out of a Schedule 86 inch pipe, uh, ask me section nine. Um, if you are doing a side bend, D11 side bend on a one inch plate on limited thickness, your specimen should look something like this. Uh, should be six inches long approximately, uh, three eighths thick, and uh, you're gonna wanna uh, pay attention to the center line of your specimen so that when you put it in the jig, it, it is centered on the, on the two shoulders. I'm gonna place a uh, sample specimen in the jig. Uh, I'm gonna slide it through until it's flush with the right side of the jig. If, it's a, if you have a six inch long specimen, it should be flush with the outside of the jig. And we can place it up against the backside uh, because uh, that will um, locate it in place straight, nice and straight. The cutout is uh, a little over two inch wide. Uh, code books call for a minimum two inch wide cutout. Although the most you're ever gonna uh, bend is gonna be like inch and a half specimen. Nevertheless, we cut it out uh, about approximately two and a quarter inches. So once you've got the specimen in place, uh, be sure you clamp down. This is not included in the, in the, uh, uh, with the parts. Uh, the jig should be clamped down to a table, like so. Then we're gonna reach inside and fish out the, um, the lever. Make sure that the jack, it's an eight ton jack, hydraulic jack. Make sure that the valve on the jack is closed and we'll begin to bend the specimen by pumping up. And we're gonna pump until it goes through the top and releases. Uh, one has to be careful to make sure that so once in a while the specimen might jump. So not to put a, uh, uh, any body parts near there, uh, unless you wanna put a welding glove over it or, or some kind of a uh, piece of uh, steel, something to cover the opening. And you're gonna pump the lever until the specimen has pushed through completely. And you will hear it when it releases. Once it releases, you'll pull it out for inspection. Okay, I want to remind you that once your specimen has popped through and released, and you take it out of there bef when, before you're gonna continue and uh, proceed with your uh, rest of the specimens, uh, you are going to uh, loosen up the valve on the jack, on the hydraulic jack, uh, obviously counterclockwise, uh, just like when you change tires in your car or truck. And then I want to remind you that this jack is not spring-loaded, so you actually have to manually push down the, the, uh, the uh, ram. Uh, once you've pushed down the ram, you can introduce a, um, a separate specimen or the next one. And continue uh, proceeding with uh, all the subsequent test, uh, uh, bend tests. Uh, also, I want to remind you that in the event that your hydraulic jack uh, should eventually, with time, may wear out uh, and not perform like you would like to, it's an eight ton hydraulic jack, it's a bottle jack, it's a standard size, uh, available just about anywhere, easy to replace. Uh, we have a bolt here with a washer that keeps a uh, floor plate in place. To replace the jack, we simply remove the bolt and slide out the plate. Uh, we may have to remove the valve on the jack to be able to clear the uh, tube. Once you've done that, we just all we need to do is lift the um, tube uh, up from the jack, uh, put, replace the jack, put a new one under it. Uh, you will have to install the actual, um, the head of the ram on the new jack and uh, replace the jack, put everything back together, slide the floor pin in, bolt it in to secure it, and away you go. Uh, it's an 8-ton jack, so you shouldn't need to uh, 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 do a lot of work uh, and put a lot of pressure on the lever. Uh, so therefore, a, a, a small, uh, strong C-clamp should be sufficient to hold it in place from the side or from the front. Uh, either way, uh, you should uh, not have any problems uh, while you're pumping the jack.
Once you're done using it, uh, I recommend that you push this uh, ram all the way down. I recommend that you put the sample specimen in. And I recommend that you close the valve on the jack and that you apply some pressure against that sample specimen to keep everything in place and then store the lever inside in one of the tubes that are uh, installed inside for you. Guys, now that uh, we're all done, we're gonna put our uh, uh, bed test jig away. And it's not very heavy, it's not light, but it's not very heavy. It's easy to carry and uh, easy to store. Uh, it doesn't take very much room, has nothing exposed. Everything is contained inside the tube and that's what makes it so practical. Uh, it, once you've uh, uh, tightened up the sample specimen against the bottle jack, uh, it should not fall out, okay? And uh, therefore, the jack is also secure in there and you won't have any problem with it rattling around while you have it bouncing around the back of your car or truck. Uh, we uh, get, put a lot of pride into making this uh, unit. It works really well. We've used similar ones for many years and um, we'd like to um, uh, uh, offer our help if you need any uh, assistance in uh, not only in how to use this jig, but any uh, uh, technical uh, help that you may need regarding uh, the re requirements of uh, different code, uh, welding codes that is. Uh, visit us at www.socalwelding.com uh, or contact us at info at socalwelding.com. Uh, again, I'm George Rolla with Advanced Weld Tech King and I will be glad to help you out any way I can um, to not just to uh, learn how to use this jig, but how to apply it to your job. Thank you so much. thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you get a lot of use out of your uh, jack and that you um, uh, keep a score sheet on how many welders pass, how many welders fail.